Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We here at the Imuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice. And I have a couple of uh, snippets with respect to Rav Israel of Koznitz, also known as the, the Magad of Koznitz. A very, man who, uh, a very holy man who was, uh, uh, was very intense uh, with his prayers. Uh, he was often heard in the uh, in the synagogue, um, talking to God, saying, "Rabbi Nishaloil, Master of the Universe, I stand before you like a messenger boy. Tell me where you want me to go." A story is told of uh, Rabbi Israel of Koznitz, the Maggid of Koznitz. A woman came to him, and she was distraught, crying. She said, I was married a few years ago, and now my husband doesn't want anything to do with me. He says, he says I'm ugly. And so, Rabbi Shalom says, so? so? So what if you're not the most beautiful person in the world? So what? The woman is heartbroken. She says, but, but the Rebbe, was I not beautiful to him when I stood under the chuppah? Wasn't I precious to him when he took me as his bride? Why have I now become ugly? Why am I now ugly now? What have I done? Her words penetrated Rebbe Yisrael's soul, and he was able to comfort her. But um, no... Uh, no sooner did she leave that he cried out to, to Hashem, Rabbi Nishalaylam, Master of the Universe, Lord of the World. Think of this woman. Think of this woman. How precious she was to her husband under the chuppah at the time of the wedding. And now he says she's ugly. He says, the Jewish people stood with you at Sinai. And we said, all that Hashem has spoken, we will do. And you chose us. And you wed yourself to us. Were we not beautiful to you on that day? Were we not precious to you on that day? Why have we become ugly in your eyes. Why are we ugly now? Why do you reject us now? Heartfelt, heartfelt prayers from a great man. It was told that the, the Magad of Koznitz, Rabbi Yisroel, uh, was once praying and he cried out, please God, redeem the Jewish people, redeem the Jewish people. And if you don't want to do that, at least Redeem the Gentiles. Redeem everybody else if you don't want to redeem us. Um, great words from a great man. We'll be continuing in our stories of uh, these great men of the Hasidic uh, dynasties. And um, I hope you enjoy them. I hope you find them inspiring. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you too much.